Hey, welcome to Jerry Bear Reacts. Today, we're going to react to Season 12, Episode 2 of Supernatural, entitled Mama Mia. Mama Mia. Uh, wow, my whole thought process just left me. Excuse me, Season <laughs> season 11. Again, Episode 22 felt like it should have been the finale. Because Episode 23 and the Season 12 premiere both felt like they were early on episodes. But the last episode, we see Sam's endured so much torture that he can power through the torture that he got from Tony from the British Men of Letters. And we see that Crowley's looking for Lucifer. Crowley mentions he wants to kill the devil. And then we also have um, Dean being reunited with his mother. Mary meets Cass. They take down one of her people's, uh, one of um, Tony's people's as they go searching for Sam. And uh, Mary has said that she wants nothing to do with this hunter life because she got out. And she's in a culture shock because of uh, of what's been happening for the last 33 years. The, the time difference, you know? Things have changed. The culture's changed. But that's where we'll leave it. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there is a reaction. Links will be in the description box down below for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, and everything in between. And Jerry, who's looking through the little thing here, will do his best work behind the scenes. And we'll go ahead and hop right into it. We'll just hit him with a boop. And let's watch. Now, as it says. Oh, we're just coming right in to some, some nasties. Sam. Oh, you hallucinating about better times. Wow. Oh, is Tony dreaming about? Isn't this much more pleasant, son? I gotta say, I did not see that happening. It's because his name starts with S. He's got kind of like lighter hair. Stefan, it's a reoccurring theme for her when it comes to these brothers. One of y'all is dreaming about the other. Just another couple of questions. Hmm. Supernatural. Uh, what, did, what has she said to you? Well, nothing. I mean, that, that, that's the whole point. Okay, well, what have you said to her? Well, nothing. I, I don't know what to say to her, you know? It's, it's, it's like it's all just too much. iPhone 6. I, I don't want to overwhelm her. Don't make things needlessly complicated as you humans tend to do. Yeah, I'm with Cass on that one, bro. I'll call you. Yeah, great. Just be like, helpful. I mean, it's your mother, bro. Are you really afraid of overwhelming me? Yeah, she heard that. Yeah, why wouldn't he be? Just be honest, bro. It's your mom. Mom, look, I am thrilled that you're back. I mean, I'm so damn happy, I, I, I can't even stand it. I just... It's just gonna take me a second to catch up, you know? Yeah, you I'm can't, not, you can't take, throw... Take yeah. all the time. It's like a polar plunge. You gotta work yourself up to it. You know, you can jump in head on. Regardless, there's gonna be a shock. She just needs a second to be able to, you know... Can't just push her right in the water. Is everything all right? Is everything all right? Is everything all right? Is everything all right? No! Shush, I shouldn't be talking to you. I was about to say, bro, if you just had all of a sudden y'all up there having coitus. Out of the blue, I'd have been really upset. Got to have a little bit of a build-up. I just, that blade's not even sharp. Because she was in a little bit. That would have made a little bit of a nick or something. As it turns out... I'm a quick study. She cut something. You heard it go. How'd you sleep? I had dreams all night. Dreams, yeah. Good dreams. You gotta remember that the John Winchester that she knows, that she fell in love with, that she, you know, had her kids with, isn't the same John Winchester that those boys grew up knowing. 
And again, John is a touchy subject when it comes to the show because you can make the arguments that he was a bad father to those boys. But there's also the catch-22 of like, you know, he did everything that he could for them, good or bad. Like He felt to his core that he was making the best decision to keep them alive. Did he go about it the wrong way? Sure. But there is no taking away the fact that he loved those kids and losing his wife in the way that that hardened him up. And it's just, it's a lot of fuckery. You can definitely throw hate at John and it's okay. You can give him love and it's okay. He's a complicated character that I wish was just that we could do more with. You know? Hey, Cass, what do you got? I think I may have found Sam's location. It's a farm. I can handle myself. She can. Mama Winchester, bro. Okay. She's got this. All right. Good talk. Good talk. <laughs> and, you know, she's probably bored. She wants to get out there. Good and I, I know how he feels because on, she said that she doesn't want to be back in this shit. And now she's back in the shit. It's, it's complex. Let's start again, shall we? Take our time. I've cleared my calendar. It's your relationship with the demon Ruby. Why we bringing up Ruby for, bro? Ruby was his baby until she decided to be a fucking tool. I thought that was Chuck Norris for a second. Someone just said he's close to breaking. Just leave me be. No can do. You disobeyed orders. Star. That's old boy. Yeah, yeah. A star. Yeah, he's in a bunch of shit. He normally plays a cop. Yeah, yeah. He was in a Peacemaker as a cop as well. Of. Boil that keeps coming back no matter how many times I have it lanced. Let me guess. <laughs> Your dinner date is loaded, single, and possibly in delicate health. Oh. Or just a stab. But you probably don't want me to reveal that his snookums is 300 years old and a witch. Yeah, it'd probably yes. sour the date. Fad, I guess. Man treats me like a queen. Just get out of here, Colin. Scoot, man. He's asking you to leave. Yeah, man. Go. Let him sit tonight. I don't know what he got going on. Well, you do know, but still. Jen looks like old girl from uh Yeah, American Horror Story. Was that is that what she's in? I thought it was Tony for a second, but it wasn't, I don't think. You have to do what I say. <laughs> Look, they targeted the bunker. They obviously know a lot about you and Sam. Right. They'll be expecting you. Something became very clear. That the only thing we had in this world, the only thing, aside from this car, was each other. That's all they had. Just each other. I got you, brother. Oh, damn. I thought that dude was just going to die in that room. Hello, front desk. Who the fuck you going to call? Hello? Vinny! Vinny Chase! Hey. <laughs> Who's that supposed to be? Emma Roberts is yes, the name of that girl, by the way, that she looked like in the first picture. Oh. What? I needed to say I'm sorry. Swallowing those pills was selfish. You took. Oh. On a laugh. With all these years knowing how I treated you. Will you invite me in? Yes. That's Lucy, son. Yeah. My man played you like a fucking pharaoh. What's the bloody hold up? He's the one and only Satan in the phone book. Look, it's obvious. He said, Mama, me and you got team up. Yeah. You're the only one that can do. I, I mean, after 
after the conversation, it seemed like not Lucifer would be good, but like him and God would be good. So like, is he just doing this to just be evil now? Is that is that what's happening? No, Fergus. Fire. I'll not be involved in that nonsense again. Maybe I should tell Ben about you. Ooh, maybe I just kill him. He's playing his cards. Either way, it's bye bye, Boca. And you got to think, too, if this is the chance, like, Sam's been hallucinating, so why wouldn't he think his mother's also a hallucination, you know? Someone warded the house. That ain't Vinny, brother. What type of place y'all... Damn! All this green shit. I said I had plans. I wish he would just transform, like, just make his skin look like the other Lucifer that we've all grown to know and love. He's the devil. He could just do that, you know? I don't know if I'm buying this guy yet or not. Son of a bitch. Did you just activate a trip mine or something? A sigil bomb? Oh, okay, you cut his, you cut underneath his, uh... Screw yourself. Why she... So you walking around getting all dressed up and shit just to come torture somebody? He may not be able to watch it happen to Dean, but Dean can also take it because he spent all those years in hell being, you know, a, a torturee and a torturer. So, like... I don't think she realizes what she's, like, into. But then again, they can break seeing each other, like, get hwinged it. Remember what Mama Mary said, though? They'll never expect her coming. They told me you'd be here. Smite you into oblivion. Manny. 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 Got two balls. Yeah. Two fushikis. Ooh. Ouch. Don't warn me. No, actually, it's top shelf sulfuric acid. Don't put it in your ass. To you, I know, but to your vessel, not so much. Oh, fuck! Oh. Not Vince. Vince got played, bro. The way that they—that shit's crazy. What are? Got warded knuckles. Did you all get a set of those or something? Passcode, son. Not yet. Passcode for what? Where's the colt? <laughs> oh! Now! His essence. Send him back to the cage! Look at my angel wings, brother! Samael. You forget that motherfucker's an archangel sometimes, don't you? Bad, bad crawling. Gone. I say just... Seriously? Just voosh. Hey. But, like, also, she really can't die because of that thing on her, right? I'm not really worried about Rowena, but the fact that this man just archangel flashed his wings and then healed himself. This just doesn't feel like the Lucifer that we left with in season 11. I gotta know what's going on. I don't get it. If there's... Maybe he was just like, you know what? Fuck it, I'm going back to my old ways. God done bounced again. I got my apology, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know where his head's at. Hey, hey brother. I thought you were dead. Shoot. Shoot. Huh? Shoot. Yeah. Yeah. Shoot. Drop it. 
shoot. Don't get too close. <laughs> hey, yo! Oh, the gun went off. She got keys, though. Dean had keys. Come on, Mama Mary. You better kip up. I said, don't take her eyes off of her, though. Kill the spell. Weirdo. Dean! Okay. She's using a Chinese mind control technique. Hard to do when you're unconscious. I feel like it'd also be hard to do if you're fucking dead. <sighs> Turns out this ape did read a book or two. Well played. Who's that and why is Cass with him? And what have you got to lose? Except your worst nightmares. I don't know. Sam's worst nightmare apparently was hooking up with Tony. Hey, Tony, if I could, I would be you. You're the one and only tiger. Sandy's chicken. Oh, that was fantastic. Thank you, Mom. All I did was point at some stuff on a takeout menu. No way. No. <laughs> oh, he's actually going to eat the pie. Oh, he's devouring that shit. Could you eat that any faster? No. No, I could not. Well, we should call the internet and find out as much as we can. <laughs> we, should, we should call the internet, yeah. Hmm? Did I say that right? Almost. You were close. So close. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> so close. So close. You want it? No, uh, not now. I'm a, little, I'm a little disappointed that that was, you know, kind of the first interaction there between Sam and Mary, like with her actually being alive, and he's just never had any sort of interaction with his mother other than when she was a ghost. You know? I don't like that. There should be something more. Just, um... Having you here... Fills in the biggest blink. I, I don't know a way to do it, but to have Sam and his mom, like, that's just so beautiful. Just a little hug and, you know, having you here fills in the biggest blank. And then she gets to go through that journal and look at those pictures, and she sees a picture of, of Bobby. I was looking for, for John, but I really, I couldn't really tell. But, um, I mean, that's so much for her to have to learn, too, like, you know, Sam and Dean's, like they said, first tooth, first first crush. You know, they both died and came back and have met God and have met Lucifer and have, you know, had Bobby take over as their father but also lose him. That's a lot. That's a whole lot. And it's like for Mary, like if you get that information, it's almost like somebody's telling you a story. I mean, you can absorb the info, but it's not going to really have the same like hard hitting effect because those those moments are kind of already gone. Like it's just you're absorbing so much you can't really just break it all down and, and grieve for it all really. Well we have Mr. Ketch for that. Okay, so that's not Mr. Ketch. You'll send for him. I already have. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not, I mean, it's just a couple episodes. 
I'm not hyper invested into this like other men of letters thing at the moment with Tony and, and Mr. Fetch and stuff. I'm curious to see who he is, like who's playing him and like what the sadistic side of him is. I feel like there's such a, a sweet undertone of Mary being back that that takes a higher priority than who the villains and stuff are at the moment. I'm like, we could have done some more emotional stuff with, you know, the way that Cass reacted to Dean being back. We don't really get to see Sam's reaction other than him seeing his brother, you know, them getting unchained or even having a moment by the car to just kind of embrace. And like, I thought you were dead. Like, you know, maybe, maybe Sam had mourned for Dean a little bit off screen and then having his mom back and not immediately like going for an embrace feels like a lot of beats were skipped to get to some other scenes. Like instead of living in the moment, they rush to get to the next spot. Which doesn't take away from the very, very beautiful spot that Sam and his mother had, but it feels like you could have had that after they had had an initial embrace. Cause it feels like, you know, if you have to fill in the blanks yourself that like, okay, they all got in this car together. It was a super awkward car ride home. Uh, they didn't really talk much. They all came around and, and sat in the bunker Sam just kept staring at his mom. They didn't really have any conversations. And, you know, it, it's some weird some weird blank spots, but it's still beautiful because their mom's back. And Sam and Dean really haven't had a moment yet to kind of embrace or just talk and then also talk about the fact that their mom's back. And maybe we'll get that, but it feels like it should have happened in these first couple episodes. But a reluctant Dean brings Mary along on a mission to rescue Sam, Crowley receives word that Lucifer's possessed the body of a aging rock star. What was the last part? I accidentally clicked off of it. Oh no, that was it. Uh, who who played that guy? By the way, Rick Springfield. I mean, damn, he sounds like an actor himself. I can't even begin to think of the hold on now oh, there he is again no that's not it It's going to drive me crazy. No, not Ozzy Osbourne. Not Marilyn Manson. Ugh. Alice Cooper. That's who I was thinking of when I saw that guy. It was Alice Cooper. Okay. There we go. Jesus Christ. That was stressing me out. Yeah. Yeah, that's who the guy that guy reminds me of is Alice Cooper. Okay. Cool. He's still alive too, 75. Just kicking. But uh so Lucifer gets a vessel. He has some beef with Rowena. Crowley bounces, they're unsuccessful in taking him down. Tony wants to take these people out. It's just it's just not happening. Other than that, like that's that's Mama Mia, like, that's the episode. There's not a whole lot of excitement coming out of it. It's just more of, like, who's Mr. Fetch? Catch. Like, how are they going to go about that? They want to get rid of the supernatural problem in America. Like, they said Sam and Dean have had some wins. I don't know why you wouldn't just come over and be like, hey, you guys seem to be struggling. Like, you've almost ended the world three times. How about we just go ahead and show you what we do and see if this works? Like, hey, we're also from Men in Letters. Oh, Cool. Well, come on in. Let's let's have some tea and we can discuss things. Season twelve, episode two is entitled "Mamma Mia." Season twelve, episode three will be entitled "The Foundry," and I'll see you there. Links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on screen. Stay cute, stay hydrated, and I will catch you on the next one.